More visible backlash tonight to President Trump's controversial immigration policy. Opponents say they have zero tolerance for it as the national, national debate intensifies. KKL 9 political reporter Dave Bryan shows us the heated reaction from both sides this time, Dave. Yeah, the two sides can't even agree on what it would take to fix the problem. You know, uh, the, the president says pass a bill. The Democrats say that's not necessary. This is your interpretation. All you do is sign off on it. The issue of an immigrant child separation has caught fire tonight. President Trump met with Republican lawmakers to urge them to pass a comprehensive immigration bill of his liking and got a standing ovation. But the anger and heated debate continues to intensify. Tonight, one of the central figures, the Homeland Security Secretary, was shouted down by protesters while she was having dinner at a Mexican restaurant. The explosive political war over separating children from adults who are apprehended at the border followed Homeland Security Secretary Kirsten Nielsen to a popular but dimly lit Mexican restaurant in Washington, D.C. Tuesday night, where protesters shouted at her for locking up innocent children. Ultimately, Nielsen and a male friend were forced to leave the restaurant. And another bitter Tuesday showdown on Fox News when former Trump campaign manager Corey Lewandowski made a mocking sound when another panelist shared an anecdote he had read about a young girl with Down syndrome who had been taken from her mother. I read today about a 10-year-old uh, girl with Down syndrome who was taken from her mother and put in a cage. Wah, wah. I read about a, a, did you say want want to a 10-year-old with Down syndrome what being I taken said from her mother? Pick anything How you dare want you? Up, but the bottom line How is very dare clear. You? When you cross Absolutely dare you, illegally. sir. President Trump arriving at the Capitol Tuesday evening to talk immigration with Republicans. The system has been broken for many years, the immigration system. It's been a really bad, bad system, probably the worst anywhere in the world. We're going to try and see if we can fix it. Nearly 45 minutes later, the president walked out with House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy from Bakersfield by his side. These are laws that have been broken for many years, decades, but we had a great meeting. But as President Trump exited in the Capitol hallways, some Democratic members of Congress held up signs and shouted at him. Don't you have kids, Mr. President? Earlier, the president gave no sign he was ready to back down on the separation of families, instead blaming the news media and the Democrats for triggering and supporting the broken system, which he says created the crisis of breaking up families. Democrats love open borders. Let the whole world come in. Let the whole world, MS-13, gang members from all over the place, come on in. Then he accused the news media of helping illegal border smugglers and gangs. They're fake. They are helping, they are helping these smugglers and these traffickers like nobody would believe. They know it, they know exactly what they're doing, and it should be stopped. And when asked by CNN's Wolf Blitzer about what has changed in the implementation of federal immigration policy about separating children from their families, the acting director of ICE backed up President Trump. We're not changing our attitude or anything. We're law enforcement officers. We will enforce the laws enacted by Congress, laws on the books. They took a sworn oath to enforce the law. This president is letting them do their job, which the last president did not do. However, the support of Republicans for the current policy of separating children from their parents who are seeking asylum but crossing the border illegally is caving in now among many Republicans. I support and all of the members of the Republican conference support a plan that keeps families uh, together while their immigration status is determined. CNN is now reporting that at least a dozen Republican senators are calling on the administration to end the separation practice. We ought to be doing everything in our power to bring the children together with uh, their, their parents. All of us who are seeing these images of children being pulled away from, from moms and dads in tears, we're, we're horrified. This has to stop. And the conservative editorial page of the Wall Street Journal published an unusually scathing message to the Republican president. Are Republicans trying to lose their majorities in Congress this November? We assume not. But you can't tell from the party's internal feuding over immigration. It is fast becoming an election year nightmare over separating immigrant children from their parents. Things got heated on Capitol Hill when a Democratic representative told his GOP colleagues they need them to stand up to President Trump and tell him to abandon this policy. We should be able to agree 
that we will not keep kids in child internment camps indefinitely and hidden away from public view. What country is that? This is the United States of America. Later, Congressman Elijah Cummings was overcome by emotion. In conclusion, Mr. Chairman, we need you. Those children need you. And I'm talking directly to my Republican colleagues. We need you to join us in telling him that we reject this mean policy. And in Florida, Democratic Senator Bill Nelson accused the Trump administration of a cover-up after he and other lawmakers were turned away from visiting a shelter for unaccompanied children. They obviously are hiding something. They are using the excuse, get this, you have to apply two weeks in advance. Nelson called the excuse, quote, boulder dash. Now, Texas Republican Senator Ted Cruz, who we saw on that report, is introducing a Senate bill that he says would reunite separated families, authorize new temporary shelters to house them, and double the number of federal immigration judges to work through a massive backlog of asylum requests. But Juan Lena, you've got to wonder, where is this headed? Indeed. All right.